My dear young friends of the Toto Sous Mission, I am delighted to know that you are preparing to bind yourself to our Blessed Mother by a very special consecration. I can assure you that if you start being close to our Blessed Mother from your early days, you will never go astray. But even if you go astray, she will bring you back. We can be sure of that. I learned devotion to our Blessed Mother from my home down south in Kerala. In Kerala, we have a custom. Most families have this custom of evening prayer before the evening meal. So until we finish our evening prayer, there will be no meal. And the prayer always includes the rosary of our Blessed Mother as well as the litany. In the month of May, we have a special devotion to our Blessed Mother. Every day something special. And uh, the conclusion also is very special. Finally, there is going to be also, there used to be also fireworks to make the children happy. Then when I came to the aspirant at the age of 12, I came to Calcutta, Kolkata, I call it, uh, and Vandal is the shrine of our Blessed Mother, of Happy Voyage, a miraculous statue, and a place where many pilgrims come to pray to our Blessed Mother. So we were in the atmosphere of uh, our Blessed Mother's person, literally under the mantle of our Blessed Mother. And we were taught to be devo devout to our Blessed Mother by our superiors, by their words and their actions. Later on, we proceeded to Darjeeling for our continued formation. And there, also, same, same practices used to be there. In the month of May, as we used to go for walks in the hills and valleys of uh, Darjeeling hills, we used to stop in the clearing in the jungle, collect flowers, and improvise an altar with some pictures of a blessed lady, and then sing hymns to our blessed mother, as well as narrate incidents about uh, the wonderful things she used to uh, do in the lives of people. Then, when I went to the novitiate in Shillong, under the direction of a good John Father, Father John Med, of happy memory, he was also very de uh, devoted to our Blessed Mother. We had a very interesting custom before the evening study or the conference. We used to gather around our Blessed Mother's statue, and every novice had to intone a hymn to our Blessed Mother. Even the fellows who could not sing properly had to practice and intone the hymn to our Blessed Mother. Thus removing shyness from our lives, even to sing to our Blessed Mother. Then I can say in the Salishan life I lived, if I have been able to make some progress, it is definitely due to our Blessed Mother. There were many occasions when I could easily have gone astray, but she was there with her hand holding me and bringing him back. And I must also confess that during the years I was in headquarters, traveling the whole length and breadth of the province, practically every other day, I never had even a minor uh, mishap or a minor fault, nothing of the sort, protected by our blessed mother. So this is the, uh, the beauty of our Salishan life. Devotion to our blessed mother keeps us safe and keeps us close to our blessed Lord Jesus. Now, I must also remind you, dear friends, that devotion to our blessed mother involves imitation of her virtues. If we don't imitate her virtues, then we shall not be uh, really the sons of our Blessed Mother. See, nowadays we used to speak of uh, uh, being slaves of our Blessed Mother. Nowadays we don't speak of slave, slaves, uh, slavery and all that, no? But those days we, uh, we took pride in that because we knew Paul calls himself a slave of Christ. Slave means more, even more than a son. The master can make use of the slave as he wants, even more than a father can make use of his son. Similarly, we took pride in being a slave of our Blessed Mother, not only her sons, but also her slaves. So she is free to do with us whatever she wants. Now, the important thing is to be like her, imitate her virtues. I would suggest one thing for you, dear friends. You see, about our Blessed Mother, it is said that after the incidents of uh, um, the finding in the temple, then the visit to the Magi and things like that, we find about our Blessed Mother that she kept these things pondering in her heart. At least twice the Gospel of uh, Luke chapter 2 says, you know, she kept pondering over these things in her heart. So, see, that was her custom. She used to ponder the word of God, ponder the incidents of uh, uh, God's intervention in the Bible and keep it in her heart and mind. And gradually that deepened her faith and then she was able to conceive the Lord in her womb and give the Lord to the world. Similarly, my dear friends, if you want really to have Jesus in you and be able to give Jesus to the world, 
then your heart and mind must be full of the word of god if my heart is full of films and sports and uh, ice cream and all these world it is only then what will come out is only that but if i keep the word of god constantly in the mind and my heart pondering over it every now and then then gradually your your life your actions your words will begin to reveal christ the living christ if the heart and mind is full of the word of god then the bread on your tongue becomes christ alive christ full of life christ giving you life my dear friends i exhort you then to imitate our blessed mother learn to keep the word of god in your heart and your mind ponder it just as the cows the cows ruminate the food similarly learn to do that and i am sure the our blessed mother will help you to deepen your faith in our blessed lord jesus christ and to be able to give him to the world through your words through your actions i shall now give you the blessing heavenly father we come before you we ask you to bless these young brothers young sons of yours they are preparing to be closely bound to our blessed mother we ask you father keep them from all harm protect them from all evil enable them to overcome the temptations and allurements of the world help them be true sons of sons and as even slaves of our blessed mother keep them always in your love dear mother mary be a mother to them hold them by hand and lead them closer to you and your blessed blessed son may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen god bless you all